This looks interesting. I wonder. It looks like they looks like they might be mating. Yeah, look at that. Looks like they're mating, everyone. Now, Tristan did mention this morning that there's a possibility that they might try and mate. Um, judging by their behavior. Oh, what a look at that. That is fantastic. Now, let's see. He was standing over the female. Um, I wonder if he was mating properly or if he was just testing a little bit. Let's see. We'll spend some time here with them and see what they get up to. Uh, I was going to say, it's funny how all these impala are standing around, but they are alarm calling at the, at the lions. But the thing is, is that with these lions being out in the open like this, they... They actually don't pose a threat to the impala at the moment because there's no way that they would be able to um, stalk and ambush any of these impala. The impala can see them, so as long as they can see them, they'd be comfortable. Um, it's when they don't see them that it's a problem. And those impala are actually quite quite far away from here. There we go, there the impala. Just walking off, but not too phased by these lions. Now, as I was saying, it's because it's been such a cool day, and that's actually benefited us because these lions have decided to stay on the airstrip out in the open. There's a bit of sun coming through now. But because it stayed cool all day, they haven't felt the need to move off and lie in the thicket or under a tree. So that, we're really fortunate. And what is that? Is that a jackal lying over there? It is indeed. It is indeed two jackal. There we go. Side stripe jackal. There's another one moving off to the right, but that one is a lovely view. That's all. Yeah, all happening here this afternoon. What a lovely start. Beautiful light. Side shark jackal moving off and um, and the lions. Now it's interesting, these areas, this sabi sand area, for some reason, they, they seem to be a lot more uh, side striped jackal than black backed. I have seen black backed jackal here, but, um, but not very often. They're a lot more side striped jackal. Um, but then in Kruger, you generally see a lot more black-backed jackals. So, it's interesting. In, just probably different areas suit the different jackal a little bit better. These side-striped jackal often enjoy open clearings, um, especially airstrips because it is so open. And they'll lie out and ha probably have a den site close by. Cedar. Now, lions will mate. It, it, it's actually interesting. A process of mating works like this. A male will find a female um, and usually try to separate her from the pride, the one that he, um, that he thinks is in estrus. And he'll try and separate her from the pride. And those two, that pair, will then move off, just like these two have done. They'll move off and spend... Anywhere between three to five days, uh, and that's an average, three to five days together to mate. And what happens is the male will then, in the beginning, especially in the beginning, the mating will be, be very, um, the, the mating will be very, uh, very frequent. So in the, in the beginning it would be maybe once every 10 to 15 minutes and and then as the days move on so by day three day four and day five the period between each mating session will become a lot longer apart and then eventually the male will leave the female um, but in the beginning it can be very frequent every 10 to 15 minutes or so 
um, all depends. The same happens with leopards. They also mate very frequently in the beginning, and then towards the end of that mating period, then they start um, taking the time, or they start taking longer to mate between each session. But also during the course of the day, like today, if it is a little bit warmer, um, they won't mate as much, but then in the evenings they'll probably mate a lot more frequently. Brandon, uh, the, this pride, I believe, I think this is a female from the Styx pride, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a, yeah, a lioness from the Styx pride, and this male is one of the Birmingham males, a coalition um, that is uh, dominant in this area. They patrol this whole area, and they are dominant over the two prides that we see a lot, the Unkahuma pride and the Styx pride. And these males will mate between, uh, or mate with all those females. And this is one of the Birmingham males. Three of them were around this area yesterday. But uh, what often happens is there is a dominant hierarchy between the coalition. Even though they're brothers, there is still a dominant hierarchy. And what happens is the one that is slightly more dominant than the others will be able to get to mate with the females first. If he does find them. And the others probably move off. Either wait their turn because occasionally what can happen is males... Or female will mate with a number of males, not just one. Or they will just go and find um, other females from the pride and mate with them. So that often happens. Caged. <laughs> Good question. What happens when a, when a plane wants to land on the airstrip? So what happens is all the lodges within these areas um, have got, you could call them air marshals. They'll come up with a vehicle, it, it's maybe a guide or somebody that's just employed to do this. They'll come up and they'll drive along the airstrip and make sure that there aren't any animals on the airstrip. And, um, and they'll probably just chase them off with the vehicle. They, they just If you drive towards most animals, as you've seen, they tend to just move away. So just to try to get them off the airstrip for safety, if there are planes coming in. Um, so there is always somebody that comes up to the airstrip uh, about half an hour before the, before the planes actually land. And then they just try to get them off. So I'm going to sit here with these lions for a little bit. Um, see if they do mate again. Uh, but while we do that, let's quickly head over to Tristan. I think he's got some tracks he'd like to show you. 